In 2011, and even a little before that, we as an organization became the bait in a, in a very large scale phishing attack. Notch's uh, email address was spoofed by uh, entities that were trying to lure people into clicking on links and downloading uh, software that would allow them to take over computers so that they could get account information, banking account information. And in that way, it, what we call corporate account takeover, they were able to uh, log into these individuals' bank accounts and basically drain the money out of these accounts. On a normal day, we usually typically get about 1,500 emails a day. During the peak of this attack, we were receiving about 9 million per hour. Because we're the MX record for Nacha.org, even though we weren't sending these emails out, they were all coming back to us. Spoofing email is a, is a widespread practice in the phishing world. It can damage a company's reputation. Um, I was getting dozens of phone calls a day from very angry people asking me, you know, why are you sending us these emails? Um, and I had to explain to them, it's, it's not us, you know. And until the DMARC standard came out, there wasn't a way to stop this. So for a long time, you know, email sort of existed in this pitch black dark room and it's very crowded in there and you know that there's a lot of people in there bumping into each other and spilling things and breaking things. DMARC is like turning on the lights in that room. You know, you can go in, you can stumble around, you can make a mess or very, very simply, very easily, you can publish a very short DNS record and turn the lights on. And now you can go in and actually see what the room looks like, see how many people are in there, see who's making a mess, see what kind of spills there are and know where you need to go and prioritize and how to clean up. Now that the DMARC standard is being used by more than a couple of the large ISPs, it's, it's, it's dropping the emails now instead of delivering them even to the spam filter and that has affected close to two billion inboxes now that are no longer getting our emails, or the emails that are pretending to be from us, I should say. The amount of capital necessary for this kind of investment is relatively small compared to other types of uh, risk management initiatives, and the payback can be substantial because of the operating cost saves the improvement of risk to the customers uh, and the lift from the uh, improvement in the brand. So that's a pretty compelling business case when deciding how to allocate resources. It's very simple to implement. It didn't take long at all. And once that was implemented, we saw an almost immediate decrease in the amount of spam that was being delivered to these inboxes. One of the easiest measures in uh, adoption of DMARC for a financial service firm is to measure the decrease in call volume that's related to uh, brand erosion from email. It happened very quickly and the number of phone calls and the number of bounce backs radically decreased after that. So that drop in call volume, which is very carefully measured by every bank, uh, is very easy to attribute to the improvement in the email ecosystem over time. And that's something tangible that's being measured today in, in every organization. So that's something to grab onto uh, right, right out of the gate. DMARC turned out to be a very effective tool in making that happen, and a very simple one to, to implement. The implementation of DMARC gives banks a way to reduce their operating costs, give a better customer experience, and protect their brand and potentially as a result of protecting the brand increase their potential uh, revenue that comes from the email campaigns that they uh, subscribe to. So that's really a triple play uh, or a trifecta that they're able to achieve. Previous iterations of, of this technology tried to solve too much at once and therefore failed to solve any. This is a technology that tries to address one vector very specifically and nails it, just absolutely kills it and takes care of it. Today, we're at a point where we have all of the answers and we know how to get there. And the early adopters are already there. There's never been a better opportunity today to improve 
operating costs, improve risk posture for our customers, and improve the potential lift from the email campaigns that we use, creating far better equity in the brands that we've invested so much in over the years. It's time for every financial institution to step up to the plate, drive adoption of the DMARC standard so that we're all moving towards a more holistic, effective email channel that we rely on so heavily every single day.